Hello students, in today's video lecture, we will be discussing your darkroom experiment where we have to find the focal length of two thin convergent lenses separated by a small distance apart with the help of nodal slide setup and to verify the formula 1 upon f where f is focal length of the combination equal to 1 upon f1 where f1 is focal length of the first lens plus 1 upon f2 where f2 is focal length of the second lens minus uh, x which is the distance between the two lenses divided by f1 f2 and also we will locate the cardinal points in this experiment. So what apparatus is required for this? A nodal slide assembly consisting of an optical bench, plane mirror, cross slit and lamp and the two given lenses. This is what your nodal slide setup looks like in the physics lab. As you can see, here is an optical bench here and the nodal slide setup. This is your cross slit. This is the source of light here, a simple ordinary bulb. Nodal slide setup, a plane mirror and your cross slit on which we are going to see the image. Simple scale, measuring scale, meter scale is here from which you are going to measure the distances. And here you will do the setting for distance between the two lenses when you have to take for the third table. What is a nodal slide? Nodal slide is a device that is used for locating the nodal points of a lens or a lens system. And it is basically based on the concept that if a parallel beam of light is incident on the converging lens system, then it passes through the focal points and helps us in locating the position of the images. Nodal points. Nodal points are basically two nodal points on the axis of a lens, one of which coincides with the projection of an entering ray of light and the other coincides with the same ray of light which is projected back into the lens when it exists. Now, what are cardinal points? A thin lens consists of two refracting surfaces on a coaxial system and it has a large number of refracting surfaces. In order to determine the size and position of the image, one has to consider the refraction at each surface separately. This is a very lengthy process and in order to simplify it and find the position of image in an coaxial system, we uh, find the cardinal points for that specific set of system. There are six points which are called cardinal points for an optical system which consist of two focal points where parallel rays will converge, two principal points where linear magnification is unity, two nodal points where angular magnification is unity or one. Now, why do we need to study the cardinal points? Cardinal points greatly simplify the study of the formation of images and the tracing of conjugate rays. They are totally theoretical, but with the help of these points, the position and size of image of an object is directly determined. Let us look at the diagram here. Two convex lenses are placed. This F1 is the first focal point. F2 is the second focal point. P1, P2 are the two principal points. And this P1, H1, P2, H2 are the size of the image and object respectively. As we can see here in this diagram. And we have shown you about the principal plane. What is a principal plane? The first principal plane and second principal plane, you should be having a bit of idea about these things before you start the experiment. Now, firstly, we will see to it that the focal points and focal planes. The first focal point F1 is the point on the principal axis of optical system 
such that a beam of light passing through it is rendered parallel to principal axis after refraction through the optical surface. And the second focal uh, point is F2 here, which you can see in the diagram. Okay, now the and nodal points are points on the principal axis of an optical system where light rays without refraction are intersecting the optical axis and uh, that they are known as nodal points. The formula which we will be using here for our experiment is 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 minus X upon F1, F2. Now, this is a bit of theory part of it. You can request for the PDF of the same on my email ID and you will receive the same where we have shown how the formulas have been derived, which we'll be using in the experiment. You do not need to show the for derivation in your practical exams. Let us begin with the experiment. The experiment consists of three observation tables. The first table is for the focal length of the first lens. Second observation table is for the focal length of the third lens, second lens. And the third table is for the observation of focal length of combined lenses. So we have in the first column light incident on one face and other face of the lens, position of the cross slit where it is happening, position of axis of rotation of the nodal slide. The difference between them is giving us the focal length and we will find its mean value. So how do we begin with the experiment? We will take a simple convex lens Put it here in the holder of nodal slide. Be very careful to see that this nodal slide setup has been set in the center here. And then we will place it on the optical bench with the help here on the optical bench where in front of a cross slit and light source. And we will see to it that the light is passing through this cross slit. Then we will to and fro it on the optical bench until on the cross slit, this sharp image is formed. The moment this uh, image gets formed here, we will take the reading of optical bench to the point where the cross slit was placed on the meter scale and the point of the nodal slide setup. We will note down these two readings and uh, uh, enter them in the observation table. So at 20 centimeter of the optical lens, cross slit was there. At 40 centimeter, the sharp image was obtained. Difference between the two is giving us the focal length of the system. This way, we will take two, three or four readings with both faces of the convex lens. And then similarly, we will do it for the second lens. Now for the third table, we will combine, this is for the second lens also, we are going to do it in the very same manner and we will get focal length of the second lens. Then in the third observation table, we will now put both the lenses in the nodal slide setup. Here is the plane mirror. Again, distance between the lenses, we will decide like if we want to keep four centimeter and eight centimeter, then we should see that this is in the center, one centimeter, one centimeter here, one and one here. So the distance between the two lenses, we have set as four centimeter between the two lenses, which have been set up on the nodal slide. And then again, we will focus, we will again get a very sharp image on the cross slit. Immediately, we will take the readings that distance between the lenses we will take for two cases, four centimeter and eight centimeter. When light is incident on the first and second phases, we will take the readings and their difference will give us the focal length. Now, we will verify one combined focal length we have got experimentally with the nodal slide setup and one we will find with the help of formula that is one upon F 
we will put f1 as fo first focal length 20.5 which we have got f2 the second focal length 34.5 minus x distance here is 4 centimeter and f1 f2 the focal lens and this way we are getting an approximately same value as what we got in the experiment in the experiment we got 15.5 and when we did it via formula we are getting 14.08 which is acceptable another thing about it is that now we will be finding the two principal points and two focal points. The principal points, first principal point is equal to combined focal length f into distance between the two plane lenses divided by f2. Second principal point minus combined focal length into distance between the two convex lenses divided by focal length of the first lens. The first focal point is equal to minus capital F into 1 minus D upon F2. Second focal point, capital F into 1 minus D upon F1. Now, we will plot these two, see, two principal points and two focal points. We are going to plot them simply. We can take a graph paper and see, we will do, do it for the uh, case where the distance between them is 4. So, we get the first principal point here. The other is negative. We get it here. This side we have taken positive. This side we have taken it as negative. And the second focal point and the first focal point. This completes our experiment where we have verified the combined focal length through formula. And we have also plotted the cardinal points. The biggest precaution of this experiment is try to see no bench error is there. Do not take readings of false images and in order to get a bright image of the slit, the plane mirror should be placed quite close to the combination as possible. In case you want a PDF of what has been told here, you can request on the number 9810 or just drop a mail. Thank you.